Hey ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Dying Light 2. Today we are going to be doing something that trivializes the movement. <laughs> because, holy shit. <laughs> this will really be the true marker if the devs of the game are this okay with absolute chaos and insanity. But, ladies and gentlemen, today we are going to be getting access to a witch's broom. Uh, and having complete access to, access to it all the time, it actually works really, really well. Like, it like seems like either, mechanically it's okay. It's not like the hoverboard. Essentially, there is a mini game where you fly on a witch's broom after tripping balls with, of course, some shrooms. Um, also, my god, this lady, she's so fucking loud. She's like, Greta, have you heard about this bitch? <laughs> and I'm like, get away from me. Point being is that there's a method to actually keep the broom. It's super easy, super fast, and I'll show it to you guys in a hot minute. I will also link in the description uh, and probably in a pin comment um, about if this is patched or not um, uh, yes also yell at me if you if you happen to do it and it's not that way I can just get ahead of it because sometimes things get busy and I lose tra track of things but we'll see this is out of all the things we've covered has the highest likelihood to be patched because it does completely circumnavigate uh, the movement but a lot of the movement is this at endgame sorry I did, did, did this uh, you're just grappling everywhere like this uh, like some sort of weird spider-man knockoff and it, it is what it is but there's two points of location that you're going to need to memorize, uh, and it's really simple. First things first, it's this location right here. So we are going to be going back to the cell tower and flying down to this crane. I'll show you where that is in a minute. But uh, this spot you're going to want to keep in mind because how this works is basically we're going to get the broom in our inventory, and then we are going to jump down here and put the broom into our stash and then end the event, the uh, drug trip essentially, in a way keeping the broom forever, <laughs> which is crazy <laughs> anyways so you're gonna need to remember to come down to this base it's basically underneath this kind of like shell uh, so if you just even fly down here you should be okay place but uh, we are gonna want to go to the very top of the tower so I'll meet you guys at the very top of the central loops uh, tallest building tower okay so step one get access to the radio tower if you haven't done enough story you will get access to the ra radio tower within enough story progression um, anyways so then you're gonna want to make your way to the very top of the tower we know this is kind of your access point to get a lot of good Year. It's weird, but it is what it is. Um, and then you're going to want to come to this side of the thing. So as soon as you leave, you're going to turn left and turn left again, and you'll see these giant boxes. Uh, and then there's just going to be a crane right down here, and this is just going to make getting to it a lot easier. Uh, and you're going to activate your parachute uh, whenever you get close. Uh, and uh, and yeah, and you should be able to just get right there, let it drop, drop again, boom, we've arrived. Now, it's not going to be here, it's going to be below it, so you guys can see that there's that right there. Uh, there is something that you can just drop right down here in a little lip, uh, and then fall, crouch, get in here, there we go. Uh, and now, this is the Witch Broom minigame. So, uh, we basically just keep touching this, this mushroom, and eventually keeps evolving and evolving and then becoming something greater. Now, in order to actually get the mini, um, the, the broomstick, we have to make sure our, our grapple hook slash uh, UV flashlight uh, consumable, the left D-pad trigger, uh, is empty. At least one of them has to be empty so that it can, it can basically appear in your inventory. And because then when you're going to put our accessories into our bag, and boom, bam, you're going to be good. Now, I have heard some weird things around this, uh, where I've seen people say that you just basically load out, load back in, it'll be good, like you quit mid-mini game and it's there, all that weird stuff. I don't know. Uh, what I do know is if I, I am going to do this twice, I'm just, I'm, I, I want to check and see if we can basically store two <laughs> to see, should be hopefully a workout. <laughs> yeah. But anyways, you're just going to keep touching the mushrooms. It takes an ungodly amount of time. As you can see, I don't know why <laughs> this is how this happens. It feels like a lot <laughs> for no reason. Uh, I guess you're just a weirdo holding down a button for what, lo what feels like a minute straight, actually. Brutal, but is what it is. And again, you can do this challenge as many times as you want, so there's no real, like, like cause for concern. Uh, and yeah, again, oh thank god. Okay, so now we're good, I think. Nope. Oh, are you shitting me? <laughs> oh my god, that's such a long time. It's ready. Holy moly, that took a lot longer. Okay, boom. Activate the baby yo yaga? <laughs> yaga? Okay. Anyways, we're going to start it. Boom. Uh, again, doesn't matter if we actually achieve it. We're just going to aim uh, to the basically the bottom left-hand thing. So right there, the skirt. Also, the music is dope. But see how there's like a little skirt thing there? We're going to try to get underneath there. In fact, we could pull up. Pull up, man! Pull up! A little bit to the left. <laughs> Looks so good, I've seen our shadow. <laughs> In there, the UV, my boys. We're close. 
Oh, no. We're going to loop around a little bit. Drop it. Here we are. We're in it. That's what we want. Pull up. Pull up, my dude. And we've arrived. Drop. It's going to keep trying to put us in the air. You're going to have to fight it. <laughs> fight it a little bit. Stop. 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 <laughs> stop. Ah. Ah, stop. No. No. Get in there. Get in there. Okay. <laughs> we got access to our, our stash. And now, uh, if we go into our inventory, we're going to actually be able to see into our accessories. Sorry. There we go. Yeah, sorry. Our accessories were up top side. Uh, so also, you need to have enough space to actually carry this. So not only just not keeping it out of your inventory and all that stuff. But we are going to move one of the this. Uh, this was found near some train uh, station. <laughs> A broom. Okay. Move. So now, that exists within our stash. And now we are just going to exit the challenge. Uh, exit the challenge. Uh, cancel. Sorry. Cancel the challenge. And we should be good. Uh, so we're up here again uh, now I am curious because some people did say that simply by like quitting out of the game it somehow also worked so I might be might be shit in the bed a little bit by doing this but we're gonna try doing that we're gonna try just quitting and loading back in because they said that also works now, if I could have one in my inventory and one in, in my stash, <laughs> just so that there was some patchy weirdness, maybe <laughs> be a way to glitchify. I'm on PC. This world was a, awaited me forever <laughs> because there's already a, there's mods for everything in this game, which by the way, we will cover in the future. Um, but, but, but yeah, sorry, but you just go to your stash and grab it. Uh, if you've done what I just did, uh, it is instance saved there and all that stuff. Um, so yes, no harm, no foul. You'll be good to go. But I am curious to see if this, we just get it in our inventory because we had space for it to be in our inventory and basically we kind of canceled the the thing without canceling it uh oh also we died on impact because you know we were in the air and all that but let's see if we respawn <laughs> and it all works out let's see but yikes <laughs> but it's what it is i guess you could have basically landed before you did the thing see if there's a lot of harm and foul accessories yeah, okay, no, so that's it. It works just like that, too. <laughs> so we have it right here in our inventory, so that also works. So now we have one in... Oh, I'm curious to see if we actually grab it again, if we have two, or if we only just have the one. I may break it, but anyway, let's, let's, let's run it back and see. But anyways, so now we have the broom, which, by the way, if we just have... We automatically take off and we start we start flying around. Now it does consume stamina, but you can infinitely, infinitely pull up <laughs> and just coast. <laughs> oh man, this is one of my favorite times in gaming, man. Because it, it's just it's just like good clunk. You know what I mean? Like yeah, I could subtract to the gameplay, sure. But at least right now, it's just like, this is just fun, goofy nonsense. They, by the way, if you happen to have Legend on PC, or sorry, not Legend, Dying Light 2, on PC, all of this is access. You have access to. You have access to like the, the zombie mode, uh, being able to go Hulk out in zombie mode whenever you want, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, just because there's the modding community's been kicking ass thus far, even without a creation kit, which is lovely. Uh, but yeah, I um, mean, I just I just think it's it's a dream. <laughs> it's just a weird thing. Also, again, we have. Also, I wonder if we step in the the little the wind, do we get a little buff? Or is it like, nah, 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 that's not how this works. No, we do. <laughs> we do. It's like a paraglider, except way better in every sense. Anyways, let's head to a safe house. Oh, but we cannot open our, our thing. We can't drop it. Eesh, a little dicey there. Oh, and we can just... Okay, so what if we just say no? Yeah, so basically... Okay, so whenever we move forward, we start to pull it out. Okay, so you do need to unequip it, I think, if you do want to get it gone. And now you're back. Now you're back to, to back to pulling out your hang glider and being good to go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Little clunky still, but you know, here's what it is. <laughs> but one more experiment. I just want to see what happens if we if we were able to equip two or if it's like other things in the game where it's like, no, no, no. It looks like it's a separate unit. So I could see it being like, no, no, no. This is this is its own thing. So uh, maybe you can f uh, finagle with it, I guess. But let's see. Hopefully my game doesn't just crash <laughs> horribly. Uh, but yeah, as you guys can see, by the way, the one that we put in here is still here. So I wonder what happens. Oh, no, we can't. We cannot grab it. Okay. I, I wonder if we could stash it and then grab it. Or maybe it's because we have too much in our inventory. Let's see. Let's move a couple of things over. Uh, now let's see if we can grab it. Oh, we can now. 
So do we have two brooms? We do have two brooms. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stash one just to be safe, just in case they're like, we see you have a broom, nix it. That's not how it's gonna work. It's gonna probably take both if they just bug it out of the game uh, or take it out of the game. But uh, I don't know, this would be, I don't know. I, I could see them patching it, but if this could be like in the game for people who are in the cuff, the cutting edge of Dying Light 2, or they were in with the community, they were looking at Reddit, they were watching YouTube and shit, and this would be their little like, hey, you can keep it, <laughs> okay? But don't come to us when you start fucking getting annoyed because the game's boring. Because you don't actually have to use any of the movement abilities, you asshole. But to be fair, uh, let, let's go to daytime. Um, a lot of a lot of what uh, movement is at endgame is you eventually get enough uh, like legendary craftable materials to where you can level up your grapple hook. And uh, that's it's a little bit more optimal than, than uh, moving, just doing your grapple stuff, doing this. And just basically like swinging around like this, especially if you put a shit ton of <laughs> points into your stamina. Also, man, it's dark as hell. But yeah, if you've done this, then you basically have like a free access to just crazy movement. Uh, also, there is like this weird, yeah, like if you look away and then look forward again. But yeah, my point is, is that there's like basically already quicker moment, like movement options at endgame. So this isn't like a worse choice <laughs> than just like seeing your character start throwing grapple hooks into buildings and like swinging like mad <laughs> around like this, like this, you know what I mean? Um, so the difference is this. Yeah, <laughs> just, just be chillin'. I will say, I've seen some people have like weird arm clippy nonsense. I have just got really lucky with not getting wrecked with bugs in the game. But alas, ladies and gentlemen, this is the gloomy as hell. <sighs> Let's get the hell out of here. Also, yeah, sometimes it just fires off like that. But yeah, you do have your little uh, accelerator because your wing glider has the same thing. If you have that wing glider perk, because it's kind of considered a weird uh, wing glider thing. But you can just point up, and I would assume... Get hella ground, yeah. Yeah, boy. <laughs> that is wild. Anyways, it's it's awesome. It also weirdly, like, actually works within, like, the context. Not like it's silly, but the idea of, like, our character having animations and, like, <laughs> some sort of... <laughs> some sort of weird freak magic thing is too funny. I don't think I'll be using this too much. Uh, just because, I don't know, man. I, like, I already think by us having, like, the grapple hook... Uh, and the, and the, uh, that, specifically the hang glider, it just kind of, like, the parkour works really well, like, being able to grab stuff, being able to, like, uh, like, grapple like that, like, even just do a hang grapple, like, like this, like, that's awesome, like, we just swing right around that corner, it was perfect, clean, you know, also, apparently, yeah, <laughs> apparently I didn't grab this up here, but if you wanted to, you could just now go, like, fuck it, and, like, jump off, off a building, activate your thing, and now you're smooth sailing, it's weird. Uh, but yeah, I think I'll limit my use on this, and I'd suggest some people do too if you start getting bored with the game, because it definitely is like it's just a. You could easily bang out this entire game just by going place to place, uh, like special wind windmill to windmill, but also that can be a little bit boring just doing windmill to windmill, so I can understand people wanting to not do that. <laughs> And this being a cool way to circumnavigate that if you're not into it. Um, but I'm curious to see what they do with this. Uh, they probably will patch it. If they do, I'll put it in the comments uh, and tell you guys that it no longer exists. Um, but this was a cool moment in time to capture as well. Just to be like, yeah, some crazy shit happened week one. Uh, I wonder if it's remotely possible to get the hoverboard. I don't know if that one's as desirable <laughs> because it's a mess. <laughs> but anyways... Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for your time. I hope you guys do enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you again. We cover so much Dying Light on the channel. Uh, we could cover updates, little tiny little little spurts here and there. Uh, fantastic variant to the game. Uh, we'll continue to keep you guys up to up to date on the updates, patch notes, patch notes, uh, any sort of things to do and reasons to do them, and maybe even coming up with some weird challenges to do with y'all. Also, we happen to stream this game a great deal. Hope I can see you there. Thank you again, and goodbye.